Hey guys, welcome back. Long time no see, but today we are going to have a short solar update. As you saw in the introduction, I started by actually disassembling a couple of batteries, making them ready for the tester, and I even started to process a couple of them for my new battery banks. Processing batteries is something that I have done for several years now. I'm not sure how many tens of thousands of cells that I have processed so far, but my testing station is still going strong. I have one Opus that tend to hang itself, but I haven't had time to restart it. But if I restart it, it works just fine again. As you have seen, here I have one and a half string more, uh, 114S 80P and half of a 14S 100P ready to go into production. They need to be spot welded with fuse wire and bus bars. Unfortunately, the weather in Sweden aren't that great. As you can see on the image here, we have mostly rain and cloudy weather. A day like this, I might produce around 2 to 5 percent comparing to the summer. And then we are talking about 2 to 5 kilowatt hours. And in general, in the winter, we need somewhere around 15 to 18 kilowatt hours to my house and the inverter itself unfortunately eats up around 7 kilowatt hours per day when it's running in active mode. If we take a look at the inverter itself, you will see that it is up and running. It works as it should. With that said, I do hope next summer to switch everything out towards Victron instead. And that will of course be followed with several videos. Um, during the winter here, we would like to I would like to actually switch to a windmill and have that as a complement. Unfortunately, the cost of that is rather high. And the problem is where I live, we don't have that much wind. Let's take a very, very quick look at the production of solar from my main system. And you will see how low it has been in a couple of weeks that we have passed by. As soon as the autumn and winter struck us here, the sun just disappeared. In November, we had like seven or eight uh, sun hours and that's not much at all comparing to a normal year where we have around five. I want to really thank you for watching this short video of my solar update. I do appreciate your time and if you need any links to my channel and want to support me check out the links down below. I have put up links to the different gear that I use and if you have any questions feel free to add them in the comment down below. So once again Thank you and I see you in next video. Bye.